So on the four-wheeler, we do have our Smokey the Bear keychain. And we have those two, those saloon women from, from a couple months ago. Who let you guys out? And suddenly, it's time to start the cattle drive. Little Martin has his horse. Adrian and Daniel over there with their horses. And these guys with their mechanical horse. Now, one problem. Where are the cows? Anything, any messages for, for mom back home? I think an I love you would be good. Oh, I love you. How about you, Martin? Any comments before we get started? Uh, I'm a super puncher. I like that. What's the name of that cowboy you like to watch on YouTube? Me? Yeah. Oh, Del Brisby. Check out Okay, we, have, we, we actually have a Del Brisby burrito in there. We have one for you with no cheese, because we know you don't like cheese. Hey, hey, this is the reason I'm a super puncher. Check this out. You know, like now this horse is so tall for me, mm -hmm. I made myself an old handle with just using this right here. That is nice. I learned that from Del Brisby. So, evidently, Martin comes a little bit more prepared than your average cowboy. Look at them. You see their saddles? Where's their rope? Where's their pliers? The reason I made it like this because it looks like a bull. It looks pretty cool. So I'm a super puncher. All son. Sometimes having this little four-wheeler, big four-wheeler, is better than having a horse when you're out here looking and rounding up the cattle. But we also use it to carry our lunch. That's very important. Counting cows. You might just call this an Uber car on BLM land. Uh, these are called honeysuckles, and when me and your aunt and your uncle were left in the middle of nowhere trying to watch cows, we would get hungry, <laughs> or thirsty, I guess. Um, this is called a honeysuckle, so what you do is you pull this out, and right here, there's like this really sweet honey in the middle of it. Okay, you want to try one? I do, I do, I do. And you just suck it out. Just That's what the bees do, too. Good. You guys taste it? And so, here come the cattle now. The people on horseback are driving them, and there's a lot of us standing around to make sure that the cattle stay on target to be funneled through this gate. It's on the other side of that yellow um, cattle guard on the road there. There's a gate on the other side. And the four wheelers over there, they're going to guard them from going that direction. I'm going to try and keep them from coming this direction because we want to funnel them right through that gate. Here they come. Let's see what happens. I hear mooing going on, and it's not Mariah. Okay, here they come. It, oh. They had difficulty over on that side, it looks like. They're all bunching up and not moving forward. Okay, we want to stay far enough back we don't scare them, but also to the point we can keep them under control. Let's spread out just a tad. Looks like they've, uh, Looks like they've gotten frightened for some reason. It's not us. Is it when you're in hell? Okay, just just stay real calm and real slow. Because that's kind of what I have to do too. I don't have an inhaler or anything, but I, I get what you're talking about. Okay, so here's our show. Okay, we just have to make sure they don't come over here like they did on that side. So here, spread out a little bit so we're not next to each other. Make sure they go through that funnel. We have it easy. Okay, there they go. And then as soon as they start going through, go th across the cattle guard and get over there by the trucks. Mariah, oh you're counting. That's impossible to count them anyway, Mariah. Across the cattle guard. Keep them away from the trucks.
I basically just walk and walk and walk. And when you look around out here, you might think, where are the rattlesnakes? Well, you're more likely not to see a rattlesnake, which you really have to watch out for, is stepping in this stuff. Yeah, yeah.